Alright, first and foremost, giving our praises on and glory to the most high Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakutash, double and the apostles and elders of Rubel and Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akia Mother pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Shalom to the nation of Israel. Come now with this lesson today entitled, You Women Are Out of Order. I mean, you know, it's an obvious thing, you know, you look around the world, you know, you look at the women of today, completely, completely contrary to the most size world. These women, these women don't understand their place in this life anymore. Women are trying to be men, whether it be on a mental level or even a physical level. You know, these women, these transgenders and them so-called... You know, they believe that they were born the opposite sex, you know. And then you have Esau saying that well, what they're saying is true, you know. But we understand that I just curses, you know, and judgment cast upon them by our Bashim Yoshai. Right? Confusion on them. Right? You have women dominating men out here. You have men letting women dominate them out here. Right? Yeah. It's whores, as the scriptures say, you know. The children, the daughters of Israel are not to be, you know, whores, not to be prostitutes. And that's exactly what they are. Women having sex with men for materialistic things, for possession. Right? But they have women, and, and actually, is a. How to play the. It's a hype, you could say it's a hype, women, you know, glorified for showing off their bodies, you know, for committing adultery against their husband, women glorified for that kind of behavior, right, women are glorified and praised for disobeying the most size women. and the leaders of, of these women out here is the so-called black woman. You look in the music, you look in the, you know, the entertainment industry. Who, who you see in pushing that agenda? Our women, you know. The so-called black women are the, and Hispanics and Latinos are the um, enemies of the, the men of Israel. <laughs> to be honest, because they are pushing these um, agendas. They, they're pushing for women to be more dominant. They, they're pushing for that independent woman. You look at BT. They're always hosting something for strong, independent black women, you know. They're always, they're always pushing this, that kind of talk. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. How much black, um, Hispanic and native Israelite lesbians now? Or transgenders, right? Or people are into all these things. Right? And, and you look at, as I say, in the music industry, you know, the top artists, female artists, are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, pushing the adultery, pushing the the um the prostitution, pushing the fornication, and they are glorified, because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? There's no righteous ruler over this earth right now, but that is why those things should be glorified. You know, women, women don't understand that, you know, the Mosai gave women the ability to produce offspring, right? And a woman's duty is, well, you know what, let me, let me get into the, um, the scriptures, you know. Genesis, Genesis chapter 3 verse 16, same. I'll start at, um. Yeah, I'll start out, I'll do 16 Genesis chapter 3 verse 16 and say unto the woman he said, you know, but let's get her backstory. This is after, you know, Eve. After she beguiled Adam. Right? After she herself was beguiled by the serpent, which was not a literal serpent, a snake, but was a man. You know? And it was not literal fruit, but it was doctrine. Right? Doctrine that con contradicted the Mosai's 
um, laws, statutes, and commandments unto Adam and Eve, right? And Eve ate the fruit, she received those philosophies and told it to Adam, and they became naked with all the wisdom, right? And because of that, the Mosai is now casting judgment onto that, right? So this is the judgment that he gave unto, unto the woman, unto Eve. Genesis 3 verse 16, he said unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, right? I say, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee, right? Now, if you were to go to a woman and bring out the scripture, it will go through one ears and come out the next, because all women today do not have the ability to understand the scripture and to live as the scripture says a woman women don't see themselves as the inferior vessel i was watching a video the other day and this reporter was telling this woman that um name one thing women better better than men and the woman said you know women are more better at being um neutrals and, and more compassionate and and you know that kind of stuff emotion wise emotional you know and better you know taking care of children and all these things right the woman say all these things and so the man was like okay name some men are better than women and she couldn't think of anything so then the man went forward and said um well, you know that men are physically stronger than women. And you wouldn't believe that this woman disagreed. And she genuinely believed that men and women are equal in physical strength. And that is the mindset of all these women out there. Look at these athletes and them, these female athletes, saying that they could beat their male, um, their male um, counterparts. You understand? You know, boxers, female boxers saying they could beat the males and... Remember Serena, um, say she could um, be the, the top 200 male or so, so some kind of thing, so, you know. All women today, they, they believe that they are on the same level as men. But I be physically, mentally, spiritually. If they are not on, if they are either they're equal or they are better than us. And this is madness, right? The scriptures say, um, Thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your desire, whatever your husband say, you, you, are the, you are the do. Right? The husband is the ruler of your house. He's the leader. Right? And your role is to execute the orders he gave out. These women, the most I made the spirit so of that these women would not understand that. You know, these women just think that is slavery, that is, that is bondage, you understand? These women don't know their place as wives, as mothers anymore. They don't understand it. Alright? Go to um, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3. Right? Because, you see, as in the kingdom of heaven, right? They have order in the kingdom of heaven. The angels are not on the same level with Yahweh. You understand? Man? You have aura in the kingdom of heaven. You have Yahweh. The Father, you have Yahweh Shai, the Son, the Savior. You know, and then the angels. So Yahweh Shai was made greater than the angels. Right? So on the earth, there's a order as well. Right? And Esau. Esau doesn't have the ability to create an order of his own. However, the most I would is, that is what it is. Whoever the most I set down, that is what will be followed. Right? Esau's kingdom will come to an end. Right? When Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. When Esau and his kingdom falls, and these laws get placed in our inward parts. 
right this rule this entire rule get placed in our inward part the order that we're gonna read about here would be implemented you understand you even had a fight you wouldn't even have a fight to you know to do the law it would be it would just be way to be as easy as as breathing right but let me get into this first screen turns 11 the street see but i will have you know that the head of every man is yahweh shai hamashiach and the head of the woman is the man and the head of yahweh hamashiach is yahweh so we see that our order here right and you go down to verse 8 it say for the man is not of the woman but the woman of of the man neither was the man created for the woman but the woman for the man so we see in here firstly that they have an order and the order is yahweh yahweh shai man woman that is the order that the mosai set he himself is is on first his son yahweh shai beneath him we beneath yahweh shai and women beneath us and then verse 8 to 9 telling us that man was not created for woman but woman created for man right eve was made to be a help me turn to adam you understand so these women have it back to front you know they, they, they twist the truth men and women are not equal men and women will never be equal basic biology could tell you that look 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 at puberty you understand a man you know you get taller your muscles become um thicker you start to grow more muscle mass your shoulders begin to broaden your legs begin to broaden as well right you begin to put on more muscle mass more size your, be your neuromuscular um, efficiency becomes greater because you're a man you are meant to be strong right we begin to to produce um sperm and women begin to produce um ova you know their hips begin to widen you know they start seeing their period and all these things right we are biologically different men are physically stronger than women the way our our, our thoughts are the way we think is different no matter how much these people try to change that that's what it will always be men and women think different we act different right we look different men and we, we are all humans right but it's two sides to our coin right one is heads one is tails and no matter how much these people you know try to make themselves believe that men and women are on the same level and that we are the same it won't be because they are not Okay. A man's role is, is to lead the household. A woman's role is to take care of the household. Take care of the children and, and nurture them in the household. Right? Cooking, cleaning and these things. These things is not burdens. These things are responsibilities that our women should be living living up to. To be a nurturer a caregiver to have compassion you understand to serve the husband to be a help me to be you know be of assistance not being devils on social media and pushing transgenderism and lesbianism and all the kind of wickedness but the most I put our spirit on them too you understand? Alright, again, first Corinthians 11 verse 3 says, But have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of a Mashiach is Yahweh? Right? Now go to first Peter. Chapter 3 verse 6. See, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, 
whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Right? Likewise, ye husbands, verse 7, likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being haste together with the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Right? A man and a woman coming together, marriage. Right? You're supposed to become a single unit. Right? Not how these women is constantly arguing and fighting and trying to create war within our household. It's not supposed to be like that. Um, it's supposed to be one, or it's supposed to be one unit. A bond, you understand? And in a unit, everybody has these specific tasks that need to be done. A man cannot take on the role of a woman. The role of a woman was made for the woman, and the role of a man was made for the man. And that was these people fail to understand. But the scripture says, say, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. You feel any woman out here who called her husband Lord? No, that is a downgrade for them, that disrespect. No man are doing that. Lord, you know. <laughs> They will tell it only on one Lord. That the most high, ain't nobody else. You know, I was them there. They wouldn't call their husband Lord. And himself, they wouldn't call their, call their husband Lord. These women don't treat their husbands as they supposed to now, boy. You know? Women out of order. Like, completely out of order, you know? What are Isaiah chapter 3 verse 2 Alright now is there um three verse twelve It say as to my people children are their oppressors and women rule over them Oh my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to air, to go astray, and destroy the way of the, thy path. So basically, the scripture is saying here, and women rule over them. To have no strong men in this world anymore. Society teaches men to be effeminate, and teaches women to be manly. It's like Esau. Esau's purpose is to just be contrary to contradict to be as opposite as possible from the most size word you know you go into the scriptures and you see the laws statutes and commandments you see you know the entire rule and babylon the great just does the complete opposite women rule over them and that's exactly what happened look at women today women rule over men Women control men. You understand? To have men, men out here who kill themselves. Right? They take their own life. Take the lives of others, you know. For women. Men out here give up, give up their career, give up everything they ever know. That brothers in the truth. Refuse to stay in the truth. Because it, they, their wife, you know. Their wife uh, leaving them, man, you know. Have an uncle that he was in the truth and come out because he said I'm creating problems in the household. Later does he know that the problem is his household. You understand that the truth, the truth can be a problem. So the most is a problem then. Right? So we're completely out of order. Then we head over to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22. Ephesians 5 verse 22 it says Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands or to your own husbands Right? I had to say that part twice It say as unto the most high Verse 23 It say 
for the husband is the head of the wife even as Hamashiach is the head of the church as he is the savior of the body therefore as the church is subject unto Hamashiach so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything to be sub to be subject unto their husbands in everything in everything right no verse 22 it say wives submit yourselves right unto your own husbands right and that that part day unto your own husbands crucial because this is the land of adultery this is the land where adultery is is get blessed for committing adultery rank you know that normal thing for these women out here our man will say well hey he have an ex an ex woman i will go an ex man and somehow in them head that normal you know somehow some way that just makes sense right it's say unto your own husband submit yourselves right not rule over your husband not try to be equal to your husband but understand that you are the inferior creature right and submit to bow down right and that is not a bad thing is not to bow down doesn't mean he's a slave you understand it's not captivity we is not slaves to our Hashem you understand the Musa is not our enemy the Musa is our father we bow ourselves to him because we are his children we are, the, we are his servants we submit unto our Hashem out of love you understand because we love the most high we keep his law statutes and commandments because we have faith in him we keep his law statutes and commandments because we love him we bow down to him and that's how wives ought to be to husbands you have respect unto your husband you love your husband so you, you submit out of love you understand these women don't see that for some reason but you know the Musa again the Musa you know cause our judgment on them and them blind out here right, verse 23 say for the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church right so the husband is the head of the wife the husband is to lead the wife not the other way around you know but I hope this lesson was very fine give no praises honor and glory unto the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Akakadash Shalom